What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another one of my videos. Today you guys are actually going to be watching the best possible class setup that I found for the SCAR-17 in Modern Warfare. Uh, now I just want to apologize actually because I am a little sick. Uh, I've actually been sick for the last couple of days so that's kind of why my uh, uploads have been a little funky. Uh, I am starting to feel a little bit better. Uh, my my uh, throat kind of still hurts uh, but I was still sick in this video so you guys are going to notice I'm not really talking too much. Uh, so forgive me for that one, but I'm just trying to get better. Plus, I've been working, and uh, it's not really been helping me. Uh, but whatever. For the SCAR-17, my best class setup that I've actually found for you guys, uh, it's actually right here. You guys can see it. Uh, the barrel, I use the Forge TAC uh, CQC Pro. This one actually helps with the aim down sight speed and movement speed. Uh, if you guys have used the SCAR-17 before, this gun is really, really... <clears throat> hard to use if you're actually going to be trying to run around with it so i really do not recommend trying to actually run around and get you know be be like a quick moving around player like an smg this one with this gun you kind of actually have to stay back hold down a position because the aim down sight speed on this is uh really really slow you barely have enough ammo and the actual fire rate on this gun is very slow so you know if you if you're gonna go around trying you know fight against smgs and shockers and stuff like that most of the time you're gonna lose so i would recommend just hanging back Next attachment, you actually have the laser tack laser. Uh, now you can see it actually helps with the aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and aim walking readiness. Like I said, uh, the a ADS on this is actually very, very slow. So you do have to use a couple things to actually try and uh, overcome that. For the stock, you have the FSS close quarter stock, again, with the aim down sight speed. And then for the grip, you have the rear grip stippled, stippled grip tape. Again, aim down sight speed, sight sp speed. And sprint to fire speed. Sorry, I can't talk, guys. Um, and that's going to help, you know, actually just trying to... When you find somebody aiming down, you know, trying to get your first shots off, that's going to basically help you uh, win the gunfight that much more. And then for the underbarrel, I have uh, the Merc foregrip. Honestly, it's probably the best foregrip in this game because it does, I think, the same thing to every single gun. Uh, but you have recoil control and hip fire accuracy because sometimes if they do get in front of your face... Like I said, the aim down sight speed is pretty slow, so you're just going to want to probably start shooting. Uh, you're not going to have enough time to actually try to ADS and the recoil control because uh, this gun is actually pretty... It's a powerful gun, but the recoil on it is very uncontrollable sometimes. So if you do... So if you don't have anything to try and help you with the recoil, you, your gun literally just starts shooting up. So that's what I have. Uh, now you guys are going to be watching some gameplay on shipment uh, from a few days ago. Like I said, I was still sick, so... There isn't too much talking in it, but I hope you guys do enjoy. Follow me on social media links down in the description below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already. We're almost at 4,000 subscribers, guys. You guys have been killing it lately, and I uh, I really appreciate you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace out, guys. One last thing. This gun has literally 20 bullets, and you run out of it so fast. So you guys are going to notice. I'm pretty sure after every single kill I get, I reload. Or at least I try and reload, because I probably end up dying a few times. Uh, but you guys are going to notice that. And uh, you're also going to notice the position that I'm holding down is going to be by the forklift. Most of the game, uh, like I said, you can't really run around with this gun too much because you kind of get overpowered by every almost every single other gun. So you kind of have to hold your position. That's the position I picked in this game. So you guys will notice I am playing a little bit back. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay.
I'm not on my teammate. I don't know what to shoot at first. 